briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1991, the United States District Court for the Northern District of California was faced with an unusual question of copyright infringement in a case involving On Command Video Corp. and Columbia Pictures Industries. The core of the dispute hinged on the interpretation of public performance under the 1976 Copyright Act and whether a guest in a hotel room watching a movie through the on-command system would fall under this category. On command, the plaintiff designed an innovative video viewing system installed in several hotels. The groundbreaking system was centralized and electronic, boasting a bank of video cassette players that would deliver movies directly to individual guest rooms. Guests could choose their movie from a menu, and after it was selected, the chosen film was exclusively available to be viewed in that specific room. However, it would be pulled right back into the system once it ended, more or less getting queued up for the next guest. Meanwhile, Columbia Pictures Industries, among other defendants, counterclaimed for damages, arguing that On Command's system infringed on their exclusive public performance rights under Section 106.4 of the Copyright Act. They posited that the viewing system constituted a public performance as it delivered movies to a significant number of hotel rooms. In what might have seemed a surprising ruling, the court sided with the defendants, declaring that transmissions to hotel guests, whether viewed singly or in groups, consecutively or in tandem, amounted to a public performance under the Act's transmission clause. The judgment was grounded in the fact that the performance occurred where it was received, in this case, the individual guest room. The court disregarded the argument that On Command's system turned guest rooms into public places. Following this preliminary ruling, the court permitted defendants to supplement their submissions for five of the movies in question. They were given until December 16, 1992, to provide evidence substantiating their copyright ownership. If these documents fell short, it would only affect the potential remedies, with any awards handed out exclusively for proven infringements. The court's decision laid essential groundwork for subsequent cases around copyright infringement reinforcing the message that copyright ownership comes with a basket of exclusive rights. Public performance, it turns out, does not require a public place. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.